I'm seeing that in my f***ing nightmares tonight. Oh, she spoke Spanish to her! The hell is going on? Did I miss something? <laughs> you! Oh my god! Alright, Owl House, Season 2, Episode 11, Fo Follies, Follies at the Coven Day Parade. I know you don't want me staying in the demon realm, but I am recording this because I think we can find a middle ground. Just look! <laughs> well, you should know. I'm seeing that in my fucking nightmares tonight. But there's no safer place than Hexide School of Magic and Demonics. Right, Principal Bump? Hmm? <clears throat> why, yes. The well-being of our students is our top priority, which is why we send all our troublemakers to our new and improved detention pit. Uh, please! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> That's enough of that. Oh my god, that's so good. Maybe he's so handsome people have a hard time focusing on what he says. I get it. I can relate. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Dude! What's he like under all that? <laughs> all that. <laughs> good luck. I heard he's scarred from wild. Hi, magic. Amity. <laughs> <laughs> Amity. Hola, Batata. Did you just call me a sweet potato? Yeah. Oh, she spoke Spanish to her! Oh my god, that's so fucking cute! We're not even... How, how many minutes are we in? Two minutes, okay. <laughs> oh, the hand holding to... Oh my god. Dude, she spoke Spanish to lose. That's so fucking cute! Oh my god, that's so adorable. I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Aw, Amity. You're the sweet potato. Uh, so, oh, uh, promise me. Yeah. Uh, I haven't used the door yet. I'm waiting for a good moment, you know? Ah, that's a bad lie. Later, taters. Red Amity.exe has stopped working. Oh my god, we gotta we gotta return cheek kiss. I I can't with this. She still stopped. <sighs> oh, she left her phone. Yeah, when she meets us, I'll make sure to put on the charm. Okay, hold on, hold on, just just a moment, just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. So you told Ida and King, but you're not gonna tell Amity. Lose what is what Luz, what is your fucking logic, man? What, what? Amity's gonna feel hurt by the end of this episode, huh? I'm I'm calling it right now. She, Amity's gonna be pissed off at you, Luz. They're probably prepping for the annual Coven Day Parade. Floats, streamers, fireworks. Ah, uh, it's just a fancy way to kiss the Emperor's... <laughs> Mother, please. No, I'm not seeing anyone. Yes, I am standing up straight. Listen, I can't come home. If I don't lead this parade, Bellows will end my... No, 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 I... Of course I miss everyone. Guess why we're here, King? Ida hired someone to spy on her ex. <gasps> Did you read my diary? And they're head witch of the Bard Coven. Stop it! And they Stop also... It. Stop it. Yes! They secretly led a rebel group against the Emperor and got captured. I was there! Oh, I didn't read that far. <laughs> That's honestly kind of cute, though, how Ida had uh, a spy spy on Rain. <laughs> That's really cute. You can tell that Ida still has feelings for them. You could just you could just tell that she has feelings still. <sighs> yeah, well, and loose nose job. too. They broke loose. <laughs> Rain battled their fellow coven heads and sacrificed everything to save Ida. It's just like Hecate and Azura in Book Five. <laughs> 
Rain is still working with the Emperor's Coven, which doesn't make sense. They were seen as a traitor. Maybe you can ask them about it. I like how they're also using the proper pronouns for Rain. It's so cool. It's it is it is really cool how they do it. How they it. It's really cool. That yeah. Uh, we need someone on the inside to lend us a hand. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. As if she'd give us the time of day. And then, and then she, she said if I don't make it back for the family reunion, I'd be banished from Palm Stings and the family home. But I failed too many missions, and if I leave my job now, I'll be banished from my life. Maybe there's a way we can help each other out. Well, are you out of your mind? Kiki Mora nearly turned me to stone. She attacked you back in Latissa, and she didn't blink when your girlfriend was thrown down a pit. Oh, she is bad. And not the hot kind of bad. I like how they're so like, I like how it's so normal for Luz and Amity to be dating. I love how fucking normal it is. But this could be your way to talk to Rain. Isn't it worth the risk? Maybe. Ida, come on, you know you wanna talk to them. Come on, you know you wanna. Fine, what's fine? What are you Cretans planning? Worry not, Kikimura. We are gonna help you. By kidnapping you and Rain. What? What? I don't. I don't. I don't understand. But. Hootie. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the Ed Hi, Edric. Eleven. Let's go over the plan one more time. King and Hootie will pilot the float during the parade. Once it gets to the halfway point, you two will set off all the glyphs, potions, and fireworks to distract people. Mm. With my love of mayhem and Hootie's desperate need for attention. This'll be a cakewalk. When Kikimura sends off the guards to investigate, that's when Ida and I will obscure the stage and whisk her and Rain away. <laughs> um, I mean, Ida gets to talk to Rain. It's romantic. Oh, it's not that romantic. She's blushing. Huh, must have left my phone at the Owl House. <sighs> no, you didn't. <sighs> Amity has it, yep. Yeah. Ah, shit. Amity, are you okay? So, Luz has been acting super weird, and I think she's lying about her trip to the human realm thingy at school, and... <sighs> you need to slow down for me. <laughs> I just get the feeling that she's lying. And I can find out the truth by watching this. Don't. But I'm not gonna invade her privacy like Good that. girlfriend. Would you? Awesome girlfriend. <laughs> Willow. There's something you have to do for me first. Do you still know how to braid hair? <laughs> the little batter of the feet. I'm glad we can be like this again. Me too. It's good to see you guys be friends again. This isn't going to work. I can't believe I let them talk me into this. Talked you into what? R Rain! Rain! You seem so much more calm than before. <gasps> Well, why wouldn't they be? They were sick for a while, but thanks to me, they're good as new. Tara's been helping me recover. I can't remember anything with these uh, headaches. The hell is going on? Did I miss something? Tara could ruin everything. <laughs> You're not trying to leave, are you? Come. The parade is about to begin. Oh. It's almost time. Is that our float? Not bad, right? <laughs> it's a work of art! Let's move. Okay. Oh, they're gonna get rain? I cannot believe we are being taken against our will. Hey, come on. Hi, Amity. I didn't know I had to prepare lines. Knock it off, Hi, Rain. You two. Let's get cracking. Right. Now, uh, how do we get out of here? We're gonna have to be sneaky. Hi, it's me, your good buddy Bellows. Yeah. Real sneaky. I had to make sure you were okay after that fight with Darius and Eber. What fight? It was just a few weeks ago. I was with you. Ida, I spent the last month sick in bed, and we... 
We haven't spoken in years. The drink. Oh no, she strips away your memories. Oh no. They have no memory of Ida or anything that happened. So move aside. No. Ida. I'm not leaving till I get through to you. We need to disappear again. If we're caught, she will end us. Who will end us? Head witch of the plant coven. Terra Snapdragon. Yep. Snapdragon. Really? Really? Why am you gone? <laughs> My god, Hootie. What a shame that Kikimura would disappear. And right before her promotion. Guess we'll have to find someone else. I Amity, yes! Let's go on, Amity. Sweet potato? How did you know? Is that gonna be the, the Amity's uh, name for their relationship? Oh, God, that's so cute. You remembered my favorite part. Yes, but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatorium. Again. Ooh. Come on, Ida, get through to them. Please. Come on. Rainstorm, stop it. <laughs> Rainstorm. I love that name. Come on, Rain. I know when you're going easy on me. I. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's pretty sick. Did you forget this, too? Why won't you just leave me alone? Come on, Rain. Go home. Maybe travel for a bit. Just don't contact me again. <gasps> Head witch, are you hurt? No, not badly. Let's return to the parade. Rain cried. This show gets you so unexpectedly. Yeah, you're walking proof that you don't have to choose between worlds. <laughs> You've been such oh. a help to me, human. You really are a kind person. And betrayal. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god! I knew you were fucking playing them the whole time. It's fucking obvious. She could have been lying. <laughs> That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Oh! You got him. Oh, they fight so well. They fight so well together. Thank you, Luz, for all the help. You're welcome. I mean, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, the hand holding. The Emperor has a great many plans, but causing a riot by hurting a couple of children is not one of them. I was sent here to watch over you. The promotion is real. You just had to prove your dedication. Did I pass? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Come, Kiki. Time to head back. Bye, Kiki. Ah! Until then, happy Coven Day. me how can i make it up to you maybe you can tell me about this uh, don't worry i haven't watched it but Good. you did finish the portal door you did see your mom come on Luz. talk to her man she deserves to know i know this situation is crazy and i'm okay taking things one day at a time but i can't help if i don't know what's going on you just looked so hopeful you were even learning spanish and I thought if I helped out Kikimura, maybe there'd be hope for me. Tell me what happened. Okay. They're so cute. This year is extra special because the Emperor himself has an announcement to make. The Day of Unity will be in exactly one month, when the tide is at its lowest and the moon obscures the sun. And there, the worthy shall inherit a utopia free of wild magic. So one month. I've always hidden my face out of fear. 
But because of your support, I can finally take off this mask. So phony. He's just trying to distract us from his crazy utopia talk. Too bad it won't work. Thank you, Boiling Isles. Ooh. He's very confident then. And why did he say he's gonna meet you again? Didn't you already meet? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? I... I'm not sure. Oh. But for now, we'll take things one day at a time. Ah, oh, shit. Pretty good episode. Pretty good episode. Um, all right. So that was episode 11. I forgot what the name was, but it was pretty damn good. So this episode, we got more Lumity cuteness. Always here for that. I like how of like everyone who knows Luz, like Amity knows Luz. She knows when something's wrong. She knows when there's something up. She knows when there's something shifty. She, you, you just know that she knows. She knows lose, she knows. So automatically, like right off the bat, she was like, okay, something, something's up, something's not right. And so talking to Willow once again, I'm glad that they're friends now and that they've gotten past their whole beef of, you know, before. You know, it's nice to see them being friends again. Once again, uh, King and Hootie don't really have much to do. They just kind of operated a little mechanic uh, thing for the parade. Then we got Ida and Rain, and they had a pretty good fight. They had they had a pretty good fight. Um, but it sucks that Rain has no memory of anything that has happened recently. Like, is that like juice that they've been drinking? Like, is that the reason why they can't remember anything? Like, I don't understand. It seems like it is because that's like the only thing I can think of. Because it seems like it's like a like a it's like a plant based drink that uh, they've been drinking. So it's like, are they just gonna forget everything? Or are they like gonna remember stuff over time? Or do we have to like make them stop drinking the the juice in order to make them remember literally everything? I, I am very concerned about Rain. I, I am very concerned about them. But other than that, uh, Kikimura, just still hate her. Still hate Kikimura. As soon as she started having the sob story with her mom on the phone, I instantly knew it was full of shit because like, I don't trust Kiki. And this proves as to why, because I instantly knew she was full of shit. I, I have a very good uh, superpower to know when someone's full of shit. So automatically, I knew that she was full of shit. <laughs> I also know this from personal experience. <laughs> we finally got to see like the day of unity, whatever Bellas was talking about. We had to see uh, that he's trying to get rid of wild magic. Wild, is that what it is? It's trying to get rid of it. I'm assuming that's what I heard. Hold on, I gotta go back now. So he's gonna rid the world free of wild magic. So that's what he's gonna do. Um, I'm guessing that's not what he's gonna do because, you know, he's a fucking bad guy and there's not really many wild witches. And then, like, I'm assuming he's gonna take all kinds of magic, wild or coven. So that's basically what I'm assuming is that he's just gonna take all the magic that he wants, no matter what. And that's gonna be very, very bad <laughs> for for obvious reasons. But with that being said, this was a pretty good episode. We have a lot of stuff going on, and I'm very, very, very eager to see what happens later on. So this was a pretty good episode. I liked it a lot. It was good. Th this one was good. <laughs>